Greetings. I'm the man behind the mask, and I'd like to talk to you about hockey. Yes, let's talk about hockey, the show that journeys through the history of the sport of ice hockey from its disputed origins to the game we see today. Now, possibly one of the oddest traditions in hockey today is carried on by the fans of the Detroit Red Wings, who have the habit of throwing octopi onto the ice surface as a means of cheering their team on. Which makes sense. I mean, you can clearly see how a team called the Red Wings can be associated with an octopus, right? Okay, so maybe you can. But that being the case, how did this unique tradition get started? Well, back in the 1950s, during the height of the original six era, only the top four teams in the league qualified for the playoffs. Once in the playoffs, a team needed to win two best of seven series, which equated to winning eight games total, in order to claim the Stanley Cup. In 1952, the Detroit Red Wings were on the verge of becoming the first team to perform an eight-game sweep in the playoffs, after they first beat Toronto in four games in the opening round, and held a 3-0 series lead over Montreal in the finals. Two of the many Detroit fans hoping to see their team win were the Cusmano brothers Pete and Jerry, who happened to own a local fish shop. While preparing the store's displays for the following day, Jerry had the epiphany to throw an octopus onto the ice at the next Wings game as a good luck omen, since an octopus had eight legs and the Wings needed eight wins to claim the cup. So on April 15, 1952, Jerry and Pete attended Game 4 of the Stanley Cup Finals at Olympia Stadium with a properly cooked octopus on hand. After Detroit scored the first goal of the game, Pete flung the octopus in celebration, where it hit the ice near the face-off circle and skidded all the way to the blue line. The linesman skated over and moved to pick it up, then suddenly drew his hand back. Detroit defenseman Marcel Pronovo then gallantly skated over and whacked the creature from the deep with his stick, since, when it's boiled, an octopus wiggles like jello, making Pronovo think it was alive. Meanwhile, the public address announcer scolded the crowd, saying, Octopi shall not occupy the ice. Please refrain from throwing same. Thanks to some conspiratorial friends and ushers, the brothers were able to avoid being caught. And luckily so, since in those days you simply didn't throw things onto an NHL rink. Additionally, the octopus charm worked, as the Red Wings went on to win the game by a score of 3 to nothing, and become the first team to go 8-0 in route to a Stanley Cup title. Though they only planned on this being a one-time deal, come playoff time the next year, all of the Detroit papers were asking, will the octopus make its annual appearance? So the Cusmano brothers, who appreciated the value of tradition, pitched another octopus onto the ice for the start of the 1953 playoffs. Unfortunately, though, the Wings were upset in the first round by Boston that year. But the octopus charm held for the next two playoff runs as Detroit captured the cup in 1954 and 1955. Today, many still imitate the tradition started by the Cusmano brothers, though many forget to properly boil their octopi before heaving them onto the ice. To date, the largest octopus ever tossed weighed around 50 pounds and was later showcased between periods on the hood of the Zamboni. So, if you find yourself viewing a Detroit Red Wings game following the Star Spangled Banner, after Detroit scores a goal, or at the end of the game, you can expect the possibility of a Detroit fan or two letting loose some octopi on the ice. <laughs> 